Today we are going to talk about how to identify time equivalencies. Remember that the word equivalent simply means equal. First, let's think about what do you already know about the clock. We learned that the small hand represents the hours, and the long hand represents the minutes. But did you know that some analog clocks have a third hand that counts the seconds? The second hand is usually thin and red. Each time the second hand goes around the clock once, one minute has passed. There are 60 seconds in one minute. I could say stand up and jog in place for one minute. I can also say stand up and jog in place for 60 seconds. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Each time the minute hand goes around the clock once, one hour has passed. There are 60 minutes in one hour. I could say, we have class together for one hour. I can also say, we have class together for 60 minutes. 60 minutes is equal to one hour. When the hour hand has gone all the way around the clock twice, one day has passed. There are 24 hours in one day. I can say the earth rotates all the way around in one day. I can also say the earth rotates all the way around in 24 hours. One day is equal to 24 hours. Now let's think about what do you know about the calendar? What do you notice? What information can we get from a calendar? How is it useful? Looking at the calendar, how many days are in a week? How many days are in the whole month? Do all months have the same number of days? How many months are in a year? Let's talk about those questions. In one week, there are seven days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the seven days of the week. At the end of each week, it starts all over again. I could say, I'm going on vacation for one week. I can also say, I'm going on vacation for seven days. One week is equal to seven days. Each month has about 30 days but some months have 31 days and February has 28 days. So we say one month is equal to about 30 days. I could say in one month, I'm going to my grandma's house. I can also say in 30 days, I'm going to my grandma's house. One month is equal to about 30 days. One year is equal to 12 months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. One year is also equal to 365 days. Our year starts in January and ends in December. It takes one year for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. I can also say it takes 12 months for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. And I can also say it takes 365 days for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. One year is equal to 12 months. It's also equal to 365 days. Let's review. We learned that there are 60 seconds in one minute 60 minutes in one hour, 24 hours in one day, 7 days in one week, about 30 days in one month, and 12 months or 365 days in one year. Since we know how many seconds are in one minute, how can we figure out how many seconds are in two minutes? 
Well, if 60 seconds equals one minute, then I can simply add 60 plus 60 to get two minutes. 60 plus 60 is 120 seconds. So there are 120 seconds in two minutes. Another way that I can solve this is by multiplying. Instead of adding 60 plus 60, I could also multiply 2 times 60. There are 120 seconds in 2 minutes. How many minutes are in 4 hours? In one hour, there are 60 minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. So four hours would equal 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. We already know that 60 plus 60 is 120 from the last problem. So I could say these are also 120. That makes it a little bit easier for me, and then I can just add 120 plus 120. I will get 240. Four hours is equal to 240 minutes. I could also solve this problem with multiplication. Instead of adding 60 plus 60 plus 60, I could multiply 4 times 60 to get my answer of 240 minutes is equal to 4 hours. How many hours are in 3 days? Well, in 1 day there are 24 hours. 1 day equals 24 hours, so 3 days would equal 24 plus 24 plus 24. Let's solve just the first two, 24 plus 24. Remember that you can stack your numbers to do the standard algorithm to solve this as well. 24 plus 24. Well, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So I know that 24 plus 24 is 48, but I've still got this other 24 to add on to the 48. I can stack my numbers again if I need to. 48 plus 24. 8 plus 4 is 12. I'll carry my 1 to the tens place. 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7. My answer is 72 hours. I'm going to abbreviate hours with HRS. 3 days is equal to 72 hours. Remember, I can also solve this with multiplication. 3 times 24 will also get me my answer. Three days is equal to 72 hours. How many days are in four weeks? Well, one week is equal to seven days. One week equals seven days. So four weeks would equal seven plus seven plus seven plus 7. 7 plus 7, I know it's 14, so I can do that again over here. I simply need to add 14 plus 14, which is 28. So there are 28 days in 4 weeks. I could also solve this with multiplication. Instead of adding 7 plus 7 plus 7, I could multiply 4 times 7 to get my answer. There are 28 days in 4 weeks. 
About how many days are there in three months? Well, there are about 30 days in one month. So one month equals 30 days. So then three months would equal 30 plus 30 plus 30. I know 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 plus 30 is 90. So there are 90 days in three months. I could also solve this with multiplication. Instead of adding 30 plus 30 plus 30, I could solve it by multiplying 3 times 30. There are 90 days in 3 months. Finally, let's solve how many months are there in 2 years. Well, I know 1 year has 12 months. 1 year is equal to 12 months. So 2 years would equal 12 plus 12. I know that 12 plus 12 is 24. So there are 24 months in 2 years. Remember, I can also use multiplication to solve this by multiplying 12 times 2. There are 24 months in 12 years. Let's review. We learned that there are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, 24 hours in one day, 7 days in one week, about 30 days in one month, and there are 12 months in a year, and 365 days in a year. You will have the chance now to do this on your own. Look at the table and use it to help you convert the equivalent times.